So I've got an interesting one for you today. If you remember, I believe it was over a year ago, uh, if you've been watching my channel, but I, te I tested out a pair of augmented reality glasses from a company at the time they were called Enreal. They changed their name to Xreal, but I, I thought they were pretty cool and I've tested a few since then, but they recently hit me up and sent me a new setup, uh, their Xreal Air 2 Pro. Uh, with a few new products as well to go along with it. And I just want to share my experience with you guys testing this stuff out. As I, I've been fascinated with this kind of stuff, with virtual reality, with augmented reality. And these X-Real like, glasses, XR glasses, they do come in handy and they are kind of fascinating. So unboxing this stuff just real quick, what they sent me was their X-Real Air 2 Pro uh, glasses. They sent me their hub and then their Beam Pro uh, Android setup. So the X-Real Air 2 Pro, there's some glasses, augmented reality glasses. They weigh 75 grams, really nice setup compared to their previous version that I tested out on the channel. The build quality is real nice. Uh, the temple area of the glasses on the frame, kind of, they're, they're rubberized. They have a, a nice little stretch to them, flex to them if you know what I mean. Uh, real comfortable putting them on my face and whatnot. They come with multiple nose pads to get a good fit. Uh, they have different dimming levels with just a click of the button, electrochromic uh, dimming levels. You got 0%, 35 and 100%. It eliminates the ambient light going on, but it also comes with like a cover that you could put on it. Not a complete darkness cover. You could still kind of see through it slightly, but it does come with an extra cover. You got 120 hertz refresh rate, a uh, built-in directional audio on the, you know, the side of the, the glasses there that go around your ears. You can't really hear it from the outside, so you're not gonna like distract other people. Just kind of, you know, directionally hit your ears. It sounds decent. Uh, it goes up to like a 330 inch perceived screen size. It's really hard to tell you for sure if that's what it really is, but it does seem gigantic to me looking at this screen that is projected in front of my eyes. It's way bigger than the 70 inch TV that I have in my living room and, and whatnot. So yeah, maybe it is like 300 plus inches, but that's what they say the, the size is. It's the perception, I guess. You have 400 uh, or 46 degree field of view and it uses a USB-C display port. So this thing, it doesn't get power by itself. It's just whatever you plug it into. Now, it does have a very limited um, compatibility with smartphones. So if you don't want to buy anything extra with this, like the hub or the adapter or the Beam Pro, you're going to have to look at what phones it's compatible with. No phone that I own is compatible with it. So you'll have to look at the list. I'll just flash that up on the screen so you could see. But yeah, I mean, I really wouldn't want to use this with my phone necessarily, but for you, I mean, yeah, if you want to watch like streaming stuff and whatnot, that may be a concern. But that's, I think, why they they sell the X-Real Beam Pro. Uh, and they sell that in a couple different ways. Six gigabyte RAM, 128 gigabyte storage, or eight gigabyte RAM, 256 gigabyte storage. It's uh, either 200 or $250. If, uh, Android 14, you know, device. You have Play Store access, uh, X-Real store access, has Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, 6.5 inch touch screen. And this thing, it allows you to, you know, download all sorts of things. It has a, a 50 megapixel 3D camera lenses, like dual lenses, so you could take 3D video or pictures. Kind of neat, it's kind of neat. I tried recording footage through the device uh, and it's not as smooth looking showing the footage versus me seeing it in real time. Uh, you know, the experience of actually me watching this stuff, it's hard to translate that in video. So you got to kind of just hear my experience through my words versus what I'm showing you in some sense. Like I try my best here, but um, it is kind of neat seeing that, like the 3D video and and uh, images that you, you could take with this device. I think that's one of the, the neat things with it if you want to use all that. But the other thing, like with the, the X-Real Hub, they do sell an adapter as well. I used that in my previous video where I could plug in my PS5 or Xbox and whatnot through that with a HDMI to these types of glasses. But they also sell the X-Real Hub, which allows 45 watt fast charging, the 120 Hertz visual pass through over voltage protection and whatnot. So with that, 
It's cool. It's a hub that you can plug in the Nintendo Switch through USB-C and then plug in power so you could power up the Switch and then boom, you get the Switch projected through the glasses or you could do the Steam Deck, ROG Ally, all these different devices tethered to the XR glasses and you could charge them while you plug it into it, you know, if the device needs it or, do, you know, if it doesn't need it, you could still use the hub. But like the Switch, you do need to have power plugged into it to use the hub. But I thought that was kind of cool uh, having all that going on. The hub's like, you know, like 40 bucks or so. Um, so there's that, you know, all these little extras and, and whatnot that you can get to expand upon these XR glasses and the uses with it. Now, the one thing I do have to point out is I, I do wear prescription glasses. So anything like virtual reality or these augmented reality glasses, I do kind of need to have prescription lenses in order to get the most out of it. I did try these without prescription lenses. And as I'm nearsighted in one eye, farsighted in the other, like my eyes are all just jacked up, dude. But uh, I, I did need to have prescription lenses. And uh, through x they do have a partner that they sell prescription lenses. And it does come with like a set of glasses attachment that you can get prescriptions put on it. But through their partner, it's like $150. It's freaking ridiculous. But there's another company I went through called VR Rock. And they charge like 39 bucks to get a set. Uh, that's reasonable in my opinion. So I, I got a pair through them, 39 bucks attached it to it. And I could see perfectly fine. Very easy to plug them in and whatnot and it crystal clear. But yeah, I had a lot of fun messing with this. You know, productivity wise, if you're plugging this into a computer, uh, you can anchor the 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 screen or have it follow you type of thing. So there's different options um, with how you have the display going. You know, Anchor just sits there or follows you where you're moving around type of thing. It's kind of hard to show that footage. When you record with these XR glasses with the Beam Pro, it can be a little disorientating. It only records for a few seconds. So I couldn't capture too much footage with that. Like I, I recorded a little bit of the setup and whatnot. And just a little bit of the footage, but it could give you a headache looking at that stuff because the way it moves around and whatnot. Um, but it, it, it was a lot of fun using this. And if you're kind of person where it's like either, you know, you only have one TV or maybe you just want to, you know, you want to be able to use this for productivity and have a bigger screen, that could be a use for you. Or if you just want to sit back and play your Nintendo Switch on a big giant ass screen. This could be a use. Using it on the Steam Deck or ROG Ally was really awesome. And the, the visuals are really clear. I, I really enjoyed using this. Like I think x they're really knocking it out of the park with the quality with these things and you know how far along this kind of stuff has come. Like I remember the early days of these types of glasses and yeah, the, the quality, the, the visuals and whatnot. These x Air 2 Pros, you know, partnered up with all these different, you know, add-ons that they have. Like, you don't necessarily need all this stuff, but it just does kind of, you know, bring it along a little further with the compatibility and whatnot. If you don't have, like, a compatible phone or, you know, if you don't have something that could just easily plug into it. So it is nice to have, like, okay, the hub, especially to me. Like, I, I would prefer just the hub over, like, the x Beam Pro. The Beam Pro is nice but it's not necessarily something I need. I would prefer just the glasses and the hub to be able to use with my Nintendo Switch or like Steam Deck, that kind of thing. But you know, if you want access to all the Android apps and stuff like that, the Beam Pro is, is kind of cool, but it's an extra cost. They do have bundle deals and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, if you want to take a look, check it out. It's a neat thing. I mean, I'm sure over time, prices on these things may come down a little bit but you know maybe it's uh, worth it to you now so take a look appreciate you guys let me know what you think thanks for watching bye